now that you have set up Zoom, you are ready to record your e-learning videos. So there are two options when you are starting your recording. You could go to your account on in zoom.us and there is a section here known as host a meeting. You can click on video on or video off. I would recommend that in case you have a presentation or you have something to show, I would recommend you to do it with video off. Video on is good only when you are just speaking on the e-learning video without sharing your screen. This is the second option where you can start your meeting. You can go to your app and when you open your app, there is a section known as a new meeting. You could click the drop down here. If this is switched on, it says that you are starting with the video on. Uncheck it if you do not want your video. Once you click, this is the screen which comes if you have started with, a, with video off and you will need to share your screen. However, if you have started with video on, this is the kind of screen you will get and this green button can be used to share your screen. Once you share, uh, click on share screen, you have an option for share screen, whiteboard, iPhone, iPad, or all the open uh, documents on your computer. I would suggest limit the number of open documents. I would also suggest that you click on the screen section and click on share. Once you have selected the presentation that you want to share, click here so that you can make a presentation in presentation mode. And once that is done, you are ready to record. And if once you are ready to record, there are these three dots on the top, click on that and start recording. There, as you record, there are options available for you to create a new share. There's a button out here in green where you can create a new share. I This will only be required in case you're moving to the whiteboard. In case you're moving between different documents, since you have a screen share, you can just click on another document that you would like to explain. However, in this case, if I click on the new share, you will come to this screen once again, and you can click on whiteboard. Once again, click on share, which will bring you here. A whiteboard is equivalent to a whiteboard in the classroom where you can write text, draw, erase, clear, and do many other things. However, this has to be done by typing. There is one other option which will be especially useful if you need to write formulas or explain things in your own handwriting. And that is for you to have a digital tablet. A digital tablet is something which you can purchase easily from Amazon and by searching on digital tablet. Wacom is one of them which you see out here. There are a number of similar options and you can compare the features of different tablets and buy something it will typically be around 3,700 to 4,000 rupees. Once you are done with your presentation, you would first click on the three dots, stop the recording. After you've stopped the recording, you will then stop your share. After you've clicked on stopping of share, if you are not using your video to record, this is the screen you come back on and you need to end your present, uh, end your recording out here. And in case you're recording your video, you will need to end out here. Once you click on the button end, you will see the screen of convert meeting recording. And once that recording is com completed, 
you will be able to select the browser and click OK. With this, you are ready to begin your first video. But before you do that, there are a few other things that you need to prepare. This is what I'm going to cover in my next recording.